Welcome to the BewareCast, where I teach you about the things that you need to be aware of. From the moment it first stepped through the veil between worlds, the Demogorgon cemented its place as one of modern horror's most iconic monsters. But the Demogorgon is just one part of a much larger bestiary lurking within the Stranger Things universe, a dimension-shifting, brain-invading, reality-corrupting ecosystem unlike anything else on television. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the creatures of the Upside Down, examining their biology, behaviour, and how they relate to one another in what might be a dark mirror to our own world. Standing over six feet tall, with slick, humanoid musculature and a head that unfurls like a grotesque flower of fangs, the Demogorgon is the first monster we encounter in Stranger Things. It possesses remarkable physical power, strong enough to rip through reinforced doors, and an ability to move between dimensions via portals or psychic bridges, often linked to the character Eleven. It hunts through scent and sound, suggesting a sensory system geared for tracking prey in low visibility environments. It seems to lack traditional eyes, relying instead on echolocation or extrasensory perception. Despite its humanoid form, the Demogorgon operates more like a terrestrial predator, perhaps akin to a bear or a large cat, but with a more parasitic twist as it drags victims back to the Upside Down, rather than simply killing them. Its origins are never fully explained, but it's heavily implied to be a native predator of the Upside Down, drawn into our reality through telekinetic experiments at Hawkins' lab. Whether it's intelligent in a human sense or not is debated, but its behaviours suggest cunning, territorial instincts, and even sadism. If the Demogorgon is the soldier, the Mind Flayer is the general. Also referred to as the Shadow Monster, this massive, cloud-like entity is the overarching antagonist of later seasons. It exhibits vast psychic powers, hive mind control, and a hatred of warmth and life in the human world, seeking to spread its influence through psychic possession and biological transformation. The Mind Flayer operates from the Upside Down, but extends its reach into our world by creating a psychic link with susceptible hosts like Will Byers, and by producing new creatures like the Flayed. It's capable of melting and reshaping matter, turning humans into biomass to build a monstrous physical form in Season 3. Its biology is hard to classify, it's not fully corporeal, yet it can control matter and minds across dimensions. It may function more like a cosmic intelligence closer to a Lovecraftian entity than a traditional monster. Its goals suggest not just conquest, but the assimilation and rewriting of Earth into a reflection of the Upside Down. In Season 2, we're introduced to the Demo Dogs, quadrupedal creatures that resemble juvenile versions of the Demogorgon. One of them, affectionately nicknamed Dart by Dustin, begins as a slug-like lava found in a trash can. Over time, it rapidly evolves into a dangerous, agile predator. The Demo Dogs represent an intermediate life stage in the Demogorgon's life cycle, much like an amphibian transitioning from tadpole to frog. Their growth is fast and metabolically intense, requiring them to feed constantly, often on anything they can overpower. Their loyalty to the hive mind suggests that they are mentally tethered to the mind flayer, and they often act in coordinated ways, obeying its telepathic commands. Their anatomy is canine in gait, but alien in structure. Their facial petals open like their adult forms, and their internal organs likely evolved for extreme adaptability and survival across dimensions. Perhaps one of the most terrifying developments in Stranger Things is the flayed, humans and animals infected and mentally enslaved by the Mind Flayer. 
Victims appear normal at first, but gradually lose autonomy as their minds are overtaken. They act as spies, saboteurs, and eventually as living components of the Mind Flayer's monstrous body. The flayed serve as a chilling metaphor for loss of identity and autonomy. The transformation involves the ingestion or exposure to Mind Flayer tissue, after which they become increasingly erratic, violent, and hive mind connected. Eventually, many of them dissolve into a gooey substance used to form the Mind Flayer's massive body in the real world. This mode of infiltration suggests a parasitic or viral strategy, where the Mind Flayer doesn't just conquer, it co-opts and repurposes its victims, breaking them down physically and mentally. All of these creatures hail from the Upside Down, an alternate dimension that mirrors our world, but is decaying, lifeless, and full of strange fungal growths. The air is toxic, the sky is dark, and the landscape is dominated by ash and tangled, root-like tendrils. The ecosystem seems to be based on fungal and spore-driven life, with webs of biomass spreading across surfaces and even infecting structures. The air appears breathable, but unhealthy, and extended exposure leads to hallucinations and sickness. The question remains whether these creatures evolved naturally in this world, or whether the Upside Down itself was shaped by something far more malevolent. Some fans speculate that it may have been a twisted version of our world, perhaps even a post-apocalyptic Earth, distorted by interdimensional forces. Despite their power, these creatures are not invincible. The Demogorgon is vulnerable to fire and high-intensity energy, as seen when Eleven vaporizes it in Season 1. The Demo Dogs can be killed with conventional weapons, though it takes heavy firepower. The Flayed are more complex. Once their hive connection is severed, they collapse. The Mind Flayer's weakness appears to be heat. It cannot tolerate high temperatures, and its neural pathways can be disrupted by intense electromagnetic energy, tools the heroes use repeatedly to drive it back. More broadly, the emotional and psychic strength of the human characters, especially Eleven's bond with her friends, plays a key role in resisting the Mind Flayer's influence. It's a classic theme. Humanity's greatest weapon is connection and love in the face of horror. The creatures in Stranger Things aren't just monsters, they're manifestations of fear, trauma, and the unknown. The show taps into deep anxieties about loss of control, contamination, and the invasion of the familiar by the horrific. From the primal savagery of the Demogorgon to the cosmic intelligence of the Mind Flayer, these beings remind us that sometimes the scariest things come from within the shadows of our own world and within ourselves. <laughs>